Nope. Too cold. Definitely too cold. It's too cold for the lights in the shop. Unfortunately, there comes a time where it's just too cold in here to work. And we've reached that time. So how about we take a look at what's going on in the 3D modeling world in SketchUp. So if you've been following along on YouTube or you follow us on Instagram, you've probably seen this image of our truck before. Let's slide back these solar panels, a la Everlander's air slide that will be up there eventually so you can get a bit better view. So what you see here is a created and borrowed model. Uh, I started by downloading a Mitsubishi Fuso model from the Google SketchUp library. And then I ended up having to scale it by shrinking and stretching on a couple different directions to get the cab to match the dimensions of our cab. And then I set to work on actually recreating the frame. So the frame here has been drawn from the dimensions uh, in the manual for our truck, the bodybuilder manual from Mitsubishi. And this is now an accurate representation of what is sitting out in the shop. Uh, I wanted to get this correct so that I could properly scale a um, subframe so that we could get it the right size for the camper body that was going to be on top. Now what you're looking at here is obviously not the very beginning. This has been through a lot of iterations and a number of different versions. So let's zoom way back to the extents of the model so you can see everything that I've done up to this point and we'll start from the beginning. There's the whole thing, and as uh, there's a lot of information in here, this model does lag sometimes, but here's where I started. I just drew what we thought would be the right size and shape. Then I added some dimensions, trying to figure out how much material we were gonna use. I thought about welding up an aluminum frame, welding in a skin, gluing some styrofoam in, and then we came to the thought of using composite panels, which brought us to probably total composites, whether we should go with a flat or a step box for the Fuso frame, and then we started playing with interior. So with the two interior styles, we looked at having the bed move up and down, which I think we're gonna keep. We've got a toilet that slides in and out. We've got a table folding down in the front. This is a later version where we have a raised section in the floor in the flat box. Uh, and if we compare that to what had originally been the step box, uh, we just gained a little bit of storage underneath the seats. We removed these upper cabinets to make the bed move up and down. Uh, stepping back a couple other variations. Uh, here's one where uh, we've stepped up the floor in the back as well. We get a better seating height. So when you're sitting on the rear benches, when the seat is up, the floor is at the right height. And we get some storage underneath there. And panning around to the front, we've now got the step in the front, but it's uh, inside the box instead of on the outside, so we don't lose the storage underneath that, which is where our batteries will end up. And gives us a bit more storage in those front bench seats as well. So we've also added a couple other things in this uh, front storage box. We've got a table that folds out from it. And as you can see, we can rotate this down in the model, um, hopefully, when, uh, when SketchUp cooperates. Uh, should stop at 90 degrees. You get the idea. And let's take a zoom out and I can show you a slightly older model but it has the kind of the bathroom slid out and we've got the wall folded around it. Just an idea of how to get some privacy in there. Don't have the step up version in this one but the uh, everything else stays the same. So zooming back out uh, we can see I added a nose cone to the model and this was to add a, a little bit of storage for us. Um, one thing you'll realize is an issue is that the cab on the Fuso has to tip so the idea is this whole box will be on a hydraulic slide to slide back about three feet so that when we need to get up under the cab we can. We'll also add some feet to the back and the side so that once we slide back we can lift the whole box off. And once we got to this stage, uh, we decided to go back to the panel idea a la Everlanders again. Thanks, guys. So I found a uh, supplier about an hour away from us that is able to provide us with panels. And uh, the fun with SketchUp, sometimes it stalls. So we are now working on how to configure this aluminum skeleton, which is mostly angle with some bent parts, uh, minimal welding, 
to get welded together to fit in the composite panels that they use uh, on, on buildings as cladding. Uh, we can get these in a two inch thick um, panel that slots together tongue and groove. So I've modeled in our panels here and tell me what you think. So I've got these modeled here on the vertical seams and I don't think it looks the best. You can see the offcuts are fairly reasonable, there's not a lot of scrap. I've modeled the front back roof on the horizontal seams and I think that looks better. But there's a bit more waste if we do it like that. So vertical seams I thought would add a bit more strength in this area but horizontal seam I think looks a lot cleaner. You can see the waste in the horizontal panels here and compared to the waste in the vertical panels it's really only about seven square feet which dollar wise isn't that much. Um, I just can't decide whether a horizontal seam will be strong enough or the vertical seams are going to be stronger so let me know what you think. I'm, I'm definitely not an engineer. Uh, there are going to be interior walls in here that will add some structural support to that but Anyway, that's where we are for now. This is the composite box that we will be building, hopefully. And the next stage, when it gets a little bit warmer, is to weld up a subframe on the truck frame and then start welding the aluminum frame together. And we'll see how it goes from there. Let us know what you think. Am I doing it the right way? Am I doing it the wrong way? Am I crazy? Post a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Give us a follow on Instagram. Hit like, subscribe. You know the deal.